James Langston Hughes was born on a troubled road in Joplin, Missouri in 1902. Rigid racial restrictions in the state forbade his father, James Nathaniel Hughes, from gaining admission to the bar because he was black. Hughes came to understand that these circumstances were partially responsible for his father abandoning him and his mother, Carrie. Hughes held little bitterness, and until 1915, when his custodial grandmother, Mary Leary Langston, died, he grew up a lonely child, believing not in people, but in fiction and poetry. But Hughes did enjoy a boyhood close to relatives in Kansas City, Missouri. After Mrs. Langston's death, he later joined his mother and her second husband in Lincoln, Illinois. There, he wrote his first poem. The family moved and briefly lived together in Cleveland, Ohio. Abandoned again, Langston lived alone, received a first-rate education, and published his first works at Progressive Central High School. His hallmark poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers, written in 1920 on a trip to Mexico to discuss college possibilities with his father, set him on the road that, by the time of his death in 1967, the world recognized him as the premier poet of the Black American experience. <laughs>